Today's video is brought to you by URCD Keys, the best source for Windows 10 and Office Professional product keys at deeply discounted prices. More details at the end of the video. EasyGuard comes in with a question about his current computer build. He has a B150 Pro Gaming D3, 12 gigs of RAM, an i5-6600 non-K, an RTX 3060 Ti uh, let's see, 8 gig overclock, 144 hertz monitor, one millisecond, and he wants to know, should I change anything? Why? My friend, that was not a good decision. Now, I don't have an inherent problem with a B150 motherboard and an i5-6600 non-K with 12 gigs of RAM. There is a use case for that scenario. Let me be absolutely clear. If you're playing Overwatch, that will do it just fine. If you're playing World of Tanks or World of Warships, that will do it just fine. If you're doing older games, casual games, there's nothing wrong with a four core four thread CPU locked. In that case, I'm trying to remember what that runs at. That runs at about uh, three... Three something point two, is it? 3.2 or 3.1 gigahertz. Just over three, not even four. Not even close to four. That's closer to three gigahertz. Because the 6400 was 2.7. That actually might be three gigahertz even. So a three gigahertz. It's either three or 3.1, I forget. So about a three gigahertz, four core, four thread chip from five years ago, six years ago, 2015. Now the B150 doesn't bother me. Now that's a very budget motherboard and that's DDR3 RAM. That's what the D3 is right there. Correct. That is a DDR3 motherboard. So he's running 12 gigabytes and that's an odd configuration. It may not be running in dual channel mode. Now, technically with DDR3, he could have two two gig sticks and two four gig sticks and be a dual channel and get to 12 that way. Right. Or he could have one four and one eight, and get to and it's out of sync. And right. get, but twelve is an odd number. But it is possible to get there using four sticks of RAM. Now, so far, so good. Older games, casual games, they will run on that. And if that's your budget and that's the money you've got, I respect it. I understand it. Not everybody has money to throw at upgrades every year. Some people just go, I'll just play some of my older games and I'm fine. Mm -hmm. Where this falls to pieces, where I give the look that says, what is wrong with you? Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. That is when you drop a $400 at retail, which they aren't at the moment, they're $700 on eBay, but we'll pretend for a minute that he paid four to $500 for it. The RTX 3060 Ti, eight gig overclocked. An RTX, well, if it's, a, if it's an overclocked card. It's more. Let's say 450. You spent more on your video card than your computer's worth. You bought a graphics card six years out of sync with your CPU, your RAM, and your motherboard. There's no game you can play on that video card that will not be horrifically throttled on your CPU that needs the video card. If you need that video card, your CPU is completely inadequate for the task. And if your CPU is good enough for the task, the video card was a waste of money. Correct. And furthermore, he says he wants to play on a 144 hertz monitor on a three gigahertz four core, four thread chip. What should you change? You should build an entire new computer around that video card. There's nothing you should keep. And monitor. Well, if he's got a 144 hertz monitor, he's fine. But he needs a new CPU, a new motherboard, and new RAM. Mm -hmm. And new storage, because you don't have an NVMe drive most likely, not with that hardware. And there's no reason not to. Now, if you don't have the money for that, that's fine, but you've got the wrong video card. It's just the video card is sitting there bored with nothing to do. That is a perfect example of mismatching your hardware and buying stuff out of sync from different eras and generations. In computer years, Five to six years is a lot of years. Yes. It would be like trying to buy a modern engine control computer in 2020 for a 1973 Chevelle. That's the disparity in technology. It, they're completely in the wrong era. So what should he do? 
a i7-10700 or a Ryzen 7 3700X, a i9-10850K if you want some longevity behind it. I mean, technically you could go to six cores, but I think you're just spending a lot of money to get a halfway solution that'll have to get replaced pretty soon. It's worth noting that the 3060 Ti, it's not, it's within spitting distance of the performance of a 2080 Ti. Raise your hand if you'd put a 2080 Ti on a 6600 9K with 12 gigs of RAM from 2015. Four cores, four threads. That would be equally dumb. It's that much performance on that much not computer. And so he needs a new motherboard, new RAM, new storage. Putting Pirellis on your Yugo? Yeah, it's putting Pirellis on your Yugo. It's ridiculous. You can, it technically works, but you are not getting the value out of your video card. That is just... Don't do that. I mean, if it was a 6700K chip overclocked to 4.5 gigahertz and it had hyper-threading, it would at least not be horrible. To anybody else watching this, if it sounds like I'm ripping this poor guy a new one, the reality is he needs to hear the truth, not be coddled. I'm not beating him up. I'm not blaming him. The voice, the voice of reason. It is the voice of reason. That was a really, really bad combination. You need to replace your machine. And I absolutely would put an RTX 3060 Ti on an i9-10850K because you can buy those for about 400 bucks now. You put it on a 150 or 200 R motherboard. If you don't want to go that high, 300 bucks is the most I'd pay for an eight core chip these days. So you need to find one in that range. There you go. If, if you don't have the money, if, if, if you hear those prices and go, look, dude, this was a stretch. I just don't have the money. Okay, fair enough. If you don't, you don't, you don't. Compromise choice. An i5-10400, those have been available for about $160 recently. Six cores, 12 threads, four gigahertz fixed all core turbo. That is a 25% higher clock speed. It is. That is 50% more cores and 300% more threads. And a more modern motherboard. You need to get yourself 32 gigs of RAM. It's a hundred bucks for that. So 160 for the chip, about a hundred bucks for the motherboard. That's about 260. Mm -hmm. Put a Hyper 212 Evo or similar 20 or $30 cooler on there. You're about 290. 100 bucks for 32 gigs of RAM, you're at about 400. That's about what the video card is. Exactly. And you will get a modern six core, 12 thread chip that will run at four gigahertz, which is way faster than his current chip. Correct. He'll go from 12 gigs of RAM to 32 gigs of RAM. Yes, he will. And he will get a modern motherboard with modern features. It's not the best solution. But it's better than what he's got. But if he hears i7 and i9 and just goes, look, that's just, not... if that's not gonna happen, then it's not gonna happen. That's his mid-level choice. But he he would almost be better off selling that video card and taking the money and just waiting because it's just... Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, man. URCD Keys is the best source for genuine Windows 10 and Office Professional product keys that work the first time, every time. Get 20% off normal prices using our discount code BST for Bite Size Tech and the link in the video description below. $15 gets you a Windows 10 Professional OEM key that is a real product key, activates directly with Microsoft, use it forever as it links to your Microsoft account and it works through reinstalls. Get a full copy of Office 2019 Professional Plus for about $50 that redeems at setup.office.com using your Microsoft account. It also works forever through reinstalls. We have been using URCD keys for almost three years now and recommend you do so as well.